Alrighty, my friends. So we are on three wins in a row now on the NGC. Let me make sure my title is updated. Current streak of three. Very nice. So we've already beat uh, Melania's B on with pause. Apparently I'm better at no pause than with pause or something. Or just my RNG was the just god-awful worst it could have possibly been. So here we go. And you see, run four, let's do this thing. Frickin' hacking, man. Frickin' hacking. So good. All right, I, I like to move the Lanius out of piloting. Basically because I don't like to have my piloting vented so that we're doing damage to the first crew that we possibly could get every time. Now, if there's a human, it'd be great if we started inventing out, but, you know, if we get a Mantis or a Rock, that would just be rude, and we wouldn't, wouldn't want them to leave our ship because we're so rude to them. Wow, this is a great Sector 1 layout here. How are the runs today, Baden? So far, one win. Wow, this first ship on the second run, though, is insanely strong. Um, damn. When ships have this good of weapons, I don't know if I should hack his weapons or his shield. So we'd hack his shields and shoot his weapons. I feel like that's the ideal, but if he still dodges everything and he has a flak online, that would be scary as hell. Rand, gotta check out your Discord later, even though my FTL no longer runs on my potato PC. They're saying you need to check it out later? Okay. For some reason, the weather you saw on TV show the American weather. Okay. I think there's some legitimacy that fixed set of playthroughs and tallying up the wins instead of just streaking or determine the tier list. Okay. Uh, I'm going to hack shields and hope my weapons don't get destroyed. That's what I'm going to do. Okay. Both our shots hit. He didn't hit my weapons. Perfect. Okay. Still took two damage from just a flak. Uh, not a bad deal, but not good enough. Okay. Only two damage. Could have been worse. Well, Plunder Pig, I'm sure doing more runs instead of just streaking, I'm sure it'd be much better for determining tier lists, but it just requires more playing. And um, if I keep tracking stats, maybe eventually we'll, we, we will get there. But I'm not like Hi like Hollow, who apparently can do, what was it, six days a week of playing FTL or something? I, I don't have that. Assault resistance. So. I'll be honest, the way I'm doing the tier list streak is more of an excuse for playing FTL than anything else. Beautiful. Oh, god damn it. Ouch. Okay, thank you for not bombing my shields. When you have as many hours in FTL as a lot of people who stream it do, you have to kind of make up challenges to want to keep playing the game, honestly. You're just arguing that's a better way for eliminating OP RNG ships. Of course, of course it is. There's a lot of better ways of doing it than I've chosen to do it. Imagine 20 runs of Rock A. <laughs> All right. We have enough fuel. What do you got? 20 scrap? Not bad. Sector 1 dive? I mean, is a nebula, so possible. I don't think I'll need to because of its placement. Okay. Double beams. Maybe I shouldn't have used... Okay, I won't use a beam drone here. Beam drone, yeah. Yeah, I won't use my... They you have beams? We have beams. Everybody's got beams. Just as long as our, the solar flare does not hit our shields. We're good. Which, if it does, I need to take out his drone control. Okay, good. They hit our sensors. I don't know if they hit anything else. 
I'm gonna assume that's all it hit. Uh, the only other buy is cloaking for this ship, you guess? Are you having a conversation that I'm missing half of, Plunder Pig? Because I don't... Compared to what? Are you saying that's the only choice I should ever do is always get cloaking? I was talking about wanting to get mind control, possibly, as well. Mind control or cloaking... <coughs> are the two most likely candidates. I guess you could get Teleporter, but unless you get some really lucky early crew, I feel like that's not usually going to be a good choice. Okay. Well, I said this is a good sector layout, and then I realized all these sec uh, jumps are so spaced apart. I don't know they're actually going to be that good. One, two, three, four, five, six... Seven, eight. I mean, I can get basically all these jumps, so I guess I will. Do you get to buy two systems? No, you only get to buy one, so it's either cloaking or it's mind control. No, you can buy one system on this ship. Okay. Hmm. Bit of a gamble, but I'm going to hold on to my scrap again, because... Either of these two uh, jumps can be a store, and if we got an early uh, heavy laser again, that would be really nice. How do you suffer less with Mantis A, bomb your enemy's weapons, and then board? That's the short answer. The long answer is, uh, I don't know, practice your boarding strats? I don't know how good your boarding is, so... Boarding is a totally different playstyle if you're new to FTL that you have to learn. I learned to love the small bomb. Small bomb is probably the best early game support weapon for boarding. So you can take out heal bays, clone bays, weapons rooms, weapon rooms, that kind of stuff. Boarding plus artillery, totally the way to go, Kappa. Glad you added that Kappa, because uh, I would have been, been mad. No, just kidding. One, two, three, four, five. So we can get all these if we don't lose a drump. Drump, a jump. Still hoping for this to be a store, so that's why I haven't got second shield yet. Uh, we have clone base. We can do giant lane spiders. Okay. Boarding with only two slot teleporter and known clone bay, that's what you're new to. Um, learn to do things like Are you having trouble keeping your crew alive? When you can pause, remember that you can move one crew out. You can swap their positions around. Managing your crew's health while they fight with pause is not too difficult, it's just you gotta learn the micro to it. That's, that's one of the things. The other things I'll say. It's hard to just give you a general, this is what you do to get better at it. It's a lot of times it's just practice, getting used to controlling crew. I mean, if you're if you're boarding with two Mantis, you win almost every fight unless you're fighting two rocks or two Mantis on the other side. So make sure with two crew, you're always fighting in a two person room and not in a three person room because getting outnumbered uh, is also a snafu. Again, it's hard to give you just one thing you need to m make a change to. It's more like, what's killing you? Wow, we have a lot of scrap. You genuinely, genuinely made that stick, straight, mistake before boarding with Fed A. Well, I mean, Fed C starts with teleporter and... and uh, is it Fed C or Fed B? I think it's Fed C. It starts with the teleporter and artillery, which is why it's at the bottom of the list. Two non-synergistic systems, including the least good system in the game, in my opinion, in artillery. Okay, what do you got? Early hull repair, defense 2, cloaking. Learning to fight 2v3 helps. Also be careful with boarding Zoltans. Yes. 
Well, not really anything I was looking for here. Do I want to try the mind control this time instead of the cloaking? Kind of do. Is level one teleporter fast enough to teleport Mantis in and out of a drone before they suffocate? No, don't do that. It's not. And level two is, level one is not. More pair is good. I just, I don't know that I want to spend all my scrap early when I... In my opinion, one of the first things you need to get on ships like this is an offensive upgrade. I'm honestly thinking about my control and level 2 shields right now. Or just get backup battery and get the level 2 shields. I'm going to do this. I don't, I don't like to get things like mind control, horror pair, drones, cloaking, whatever, before I've gotten an offensive upgrade. Because I want to have scrap enough to get those things. So, up, man? Bola, how are you doing? Okay. They're in my clone bay. Get in there. Okay. They're in my shields. Get in there. How many humans we got? Okay. Yeah, for auto scouts with the Mantis um, A, I mean, you start with a basic laser, so for auto scouts, just don't board on uh, on Mantis A. You, uh, you bomb their shields and kill them with a basic laser slowly. Mantis A is actually probably the most flexible of the Mantis ships, just because it actually has decent weapons to start. Although, I mean, Mantis C, because it has Lanius, you could kind of argue it can board auto scouts, but. Uh, civilian or Mantis? Oh, man. Wow. Hard lady purple sectors here. I don't have long range scanners. I'm gonna go civilian right now. Still looking for more stores to get like a, a heavy laser one, a black one, burst laser two, like all the good weapons. Okay, that lines up pretty well, and we can go into the nebula. Okay. Okay, empty jump is empty. Double store with no scrap. Great. I don't have anything to sell, right? I do have defense scrambler, so I could sell that for a flak. Okay, I guess that's what we're doing. <laughs> that does mean, though, however, I'm not going to be able to use beam drone against anybody who's got an uh, anti-drone drone. So it's still, uh, what, 65 scrap? 65 scrap to get the flak online. So I can't quite sell beam drone yet and I'm gonna need a couple of fuel that's a flak baby that's a flak honestly I feel like it's slightly worse to get that early than a heavy laser because it's more expensive to get online but as long as we get enough scrap it's definitely definitely amazing oops God, I think I need three crew to deal with this guy. Jesus. Okay. Just in case he runs. Of course he's got double doges. Uh, let's keep his shields offline. The slower pairs, I don't think he's got an NG over there at least, so that's good. I think he's dodged uh, half of all of our volleys except maybe the first one. Do I still do instruction mod? No, it's been years. The command's pretty old for that. It's been years since I've actually played the instruction mod. So, no. Still have a soft spot in my heart for it because it was the first complete rework mod that I actually spent a good amount of time in and I think it's a really great mod. I don't know if anything's been done with it in recent years though, so I don't know if it's still a live mod or not. I guess I'll just let you do that. 
or lives, probably not the word, a uh, active mod, maybe. Uh, Flack will pay off a long run, that's true. So again, if we can get it online, then yeah, absolutely. Before your FTL crashed, when you did Mantis say you had to run laps with your border so that they didn't die while you were waiting on level 1 teleporter. Yeah, that's something you have to do sometimes. Surrounded by stores. Ah, <sighs> with 27 scrap. Alright, game, alright. Uh, you have a missile and you have boarding. Oh man, boarding. Uh, maybe I hack his teleporter if he uh, boards with a mantis. I really do need double reward here. Okay, he boards with a human. Please don't hit my weapons. Okay, well, you just really hate my shield. It's fine. Nope, that's not generous enough. I need a free flak or something if you want me to let you live, sir. Next few jumps will be critical before you can bring flak one online. Not critical, you get that yet. Well, early game is critical, so... I would say you're not wrong about that. The next four or five jumps, us getting enough scrap to get Flak online until we do. Um, damn it, no double reward. Uh, until we do, it's a little, a little, a little fuzzy here. Level two, uh, level two shields in sector two is not unheard of. It's rare. Usually, it's only for events. But if we do get that, it'll be a real big pain. How have you never noticed the airlock on the drone bay itself? <laughs> Right there. Pretty nice venting on this ship. Does NGC start with backup battery? No, I bought it at the first store. I mean, I could get long-range scanners if it's available at the store. Do I check both stores for possible long-range scanners? I'll check one store. Nope. There's the heavy laser one. Can't sell beam drone to get that. I really want that. That would be uh, the weapon system that we basically had the entire last run if I bought it. But let's just do this. Automated reloader is also good. Lots of good stuff at these stores. But I mean, of course, this, the game gives me the goddamn best stores when I have no scrap to get it. If if either of those stores was in my sector one, it would have been amazing, and I wouldn't have got spent the scrap on backup battery, which I'm now feeling pretty pretty kind of wasteful on pretty kind of all right well we got our value out of our hacking we're already kind of worse off than we were in our first run of the day just because we fought more missile ships so Hey, there's finally a double reward. Right, when you do not have enough scrap, game gives you good stuff in stores, I know. FTL is trolling you as much as it can. Well, let's go ahead and get this. So that's value point weapons. We only need six more scrap. We get the flak online. Then I'll be then I'll be feeling actually good. Uh, he can't get through my shields. This is fine. Just kill mind control. Don't have to use hacking or uh, beam drone here. Okay. This is better. Thank you for not having a missile, sir. Missiles are OP and stupid. You shouldn't have them. Unless you want to be OP and stupid, which AI probably likes being OP and stupid. Purposely leaving the weapons online for possible dodge training from these shots. No dodge training, though. There we go. That, my friends, is a flak online. And that 
It's really good. Okay. Now I'm feeling much better. Now if I had a store to sell the beam drone, maybe buy a defense drone, that'd be really nice. Okay, ha! I got a flak one, you got a flak one, everybody gets a flak one. Well, at least you don't have two shields, I guess. Okay. Five shots, three power, man. Flak, show good. And again, not hacking to try to save drone parts. not even making shots at good places with his flak, it's just being rather accurate because lucky you. Lucky you, good RNG. Okay. Still can't be that sad. We have a flak one. Sector two. Can't ever be sad. Flak can't make you sad, unless it's your enemies having them. Yeah, I think if we want extra jumps, we gotta go one, two, three, four, five. I mean, we can get six right now without going into the nebula. So the question is if I want to go into the nebula, because I have to get there in three. I think it's actually better if I just go one, like one, two, three, now, one, two, three, four, five, six. I think it's just better. Nebula is more likely to not be ship fights. More likely to be empty jumps. Unless you have 15 flags, you're not prepared for the boss. Okay. Um, I don't like spending the fuel, but everything else I'm cool with here. I'm going to go ahead and take that. Anytime you can get a power upgrade without having to spend scrap, I like that deal. What are your weapons? Okay, you can't get through, but it's very dependent on what this solar flare does. Very nice. Boo, 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 boo. All right, Solar Flare, what you got? What you got, man? Hopefully just a fire here with no damage. Damn it. Free damage from a Solar Flare, my favorite. You prefer 20 or 30 flax, huh? Okay. <laughs> wow, you all are so realistic in your expectations for what you can get from FTL. Okay, quest. Do, 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 do. Oh, God damn it, what a waste of a quest. That's a stupid Mantis outpost quest or whatever. What do you need for that? It's a bomb, right? Like a bomb to bomb their key structures or whatever the hell that is. Ugh. What an annoying event that is. Mantis War Camp, yeah. Um, I'm actually going to buy six fuel here, yeah. Missile weapon equals fight, firebomb equals NG and stuff. Okay, yeah. The one event in the game where you wish you had a firebomb for. Go ahead and do this since you have a burst laser too here. Man, freaking solar flares for days, man. Well, you're gonna have a lot of fires now. All right, let's check where our fires go first. Okay, well, it did damage, but at least there's an empty room. Um, I'm actually gonna check. If there's a crew kill possibility here. Uh, can't take the extra fires for it. Extra free damage is not worth it. Crew killing and a solar flare without boarding, not my favorite. Firebomb also has these set fires to their crew dwellings blue option. 
I thought that was the same event. Is that two different events? Hey, okay, well, there's a free weapon. If those events were a bit more common, it would make the weapon almost viable. NG Homeworlds abandoned Sector 3. I guess we're going NG Homeworlds. Alright. First Laser 1 is not that good a weapon, but it's cheap. And we got it for free, so I can't be too too down about that. Firebeam burned the crops. Is that the same event that uh, Deku's Terror was talking about? Nah, I'm not going Lanius. Sector 3 Lanius is not super scary. And we have a Lanius, but... Holy crap. You can't compare to NG Free stuff, man. You just can't compare. Abandoned could have got been great. The thing is, Fuzzy Penguin, a lot of the blue options for Lanius in the Abandoned Sector are to avoid fights. And you don't want to avoid fights. You want to get fights to get stuff. So that's the problem with the Lanius sector. The reason you could maybe argue that it could be good is because what Lanius sector does have is potential for a lot of fights and a lot of scrap gains. Uh, but if you're avoiding fights, you're not getting as much scrap, so. You're getting tired today, pie boy? All right. Yeah, no double reward. Upgrade weapons to use a burst laser one instead of dual lasers. That will make a big difference. <laughs> yes, upgrade to get the same power for the same firepower for more power and system cost. Sounds like a deal a slug would make. I'm getting tired, so it means your memory won't be as good. All right, automated reloader is really good. All right, well, this is a side or downgrade from all of my weapons. The only question is which of these two would I rather have. And this one's slightly faster to get the full volley, so we're going to sell that. This also sells for two more. Sell this. I am... Let me check... Not other store. Okay, let me go ahead and do this. Repairs and fuel. I actually could get the burst laser online right now. But I wouldn't be able to power it without take, taking power out of something else or backup battery. I think I am going to go ahead and do it, though. Because this is really good firepower for phase two, uh, phase two, sector two. If I get one more power to have my shields online, we have backup battery. This is actually pretty darn strong. Say what you will, but Lanius, look out for each other. Okay. Come on, give me the free mantis and not free hole damage. Big freaking surprise. Oh, God, and of course they do that. That's all right. That's all right. Our weapons are so insane, they're not going to actually get to do damage to us. Did they do damage to us? Why is this damaged? Yeah, just get deleted weapons. Get deleted. Hey, what's up, Zeddy Prime? Uh, Zeddy Prim, how are you doing? Oh, the event. That's right, the five free... The five free hole damage, and they damage my systems for free. What a deal. What a deal. I think I might take a couple jumps in the store just to get repairs online, because we are strong enough that if we just make it so that we're not dead, we're in great shape. Uh, accept their offer of free stuff. I get one power here. I hope that doesn't cost me like long-range scanners at the store or something. You're doing well enough, I suppose. Wow. This is not very positive sounding. Oh, I'm alive. Like Eeyore from Winnie the Pooh. Oh, hum. Just living my life. Long range scanners, baby. All right. I got two of my favorite augments, man. Okay. Okay. We got good weapons. We got long-range scanners. The only thing we don't have is missile defense. Hacking can kind of do that for us. So finding a defense drone and then 
our final system is our next goals, next couple of goals. Have I played into the breach? If so, do I recommend it? I, I do. I like it. I 100%ed it on stream a couple years ago when it first came out. It's a great game. It does not have the replayability of FTL. So if you're looking for a game that's going to like replace FTL or be as good as FTL, sadly, I don't think a game like that exists. But it is a good game if you, if you like uh, strategy type turn-based games. I absolutely recommend a playthrough of it. It just might not live up to your expectations if you're expecting another FTL. Thanks for leaving right as I killed your ship. Double reward? Woo! Yeah! There we go. Who is this streamer? Nostradamus? That's not the first prediction today. <laughs> uh, oh, because I did say Flak 1 and then Long Range Scanners? Well... I'm basically naming the best possible thing we can get at the store and um, keeping as much scrap on hand to be able to afford those things. So that's, I don't know if Nostradamus, but I have played a little bit of FTL to know what to hope for and plan for, be prepared for. Um, okay, so this is the NG quest. So... I don't love that quest, but it can end in a free repair and drone reactor boost? No, NG medbot dispersal, I think. So, store. I don't have anything I want to sell. So, you tend to try to keep 120 scrap for weapon pre-igniter. That has cost you many runs. Yeah. Unless you're late game and your build's already good, that's, that's usually too much scrap to hold on to, sadly enough. Sadly. Usually, even if I see a pre-igniter early game, I'm just like, I just always write it off as like, it's, it's just too expensive. It's not a viable thing to look for early game. You're uh, you're delaying too much other stuff for the chance at that. And even if you buy it, often early game, it's the wrong choice because then your offense or defense falls behind. Like when people make the joke, sell your Glade Beam for a pre-igniter. You know, it's like, well, you know, Putting the cart before the horse, I guess, is the saying for that. Oh, it's titanium system casing? Okay, yeah, so it's free repair, titanium system casing, and scrap, I think, from that NG quest. I think you're right. Is this the Forever Alone NGB ship? No, this is NGC. I'll put me down to 13. I think that's a little low. I'm going to go sell three drone parts. I'm not using, having to use hacking as much this time. That's one of the reasons why when I got the free burst laser, I was pretty happy because it's saving me drone parts and so I don't have to hack as much. Pirate for free crew. Yeah, this is the OP NGC, not the forever lone underpowered NGB. So this is going to be a ship fight that if we do enough damage to them, they're going to surrender and either tell us where the real quest is or... We'll have to finish them off to kill them. The reason I don't like the NG Homeworld's quest is because unless you have boarding, two out of two out of the four jumps involved in this quest are not scrap gain ship fights. So that's the reason I don't love them. I do want to go into one nebula actually, because that'll get me the Saxon Beacon. Okay. What ran things about another breach? Okay, wow. All right. Hey, nice. We're do quoting all the things. One, two, three, four. Okay. Wow, that is holy crap. That is a weapon system. All right. Well, are we hacking weapons or are we hacking shields? This is what twelve seconds and fifteen. Those time out really well together, don't they? Okay, I think what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to hack his weapons, but I'm not going to activate it until after the burst laser fires to desync these two weapons. So we don't dodge, but we desynchronize these guys so they are not. This isn't taking shields down for this weapon. I was a little 
off time, but he, he uh, dodged like crazy anyway. Damn, I didn't dodge a single laser shot this fight. Okay, good. Now we're safe. There's a chance we took no damage. Holy automated reloader, though. Okay, well, that's a good payment for us taking two damage. And desyncing the halberd from the burst laser, too. I think was the correct way to play that fight. I have backup battery I could have used there. Okay. All right. I'm not sure if getting the store is in our future if we're going to do the NG quest. And I could use the repairs from the NG quest, so we're going to go for it. I could get their shield before the asteroid field. Woo! One of my favorite events in the game. Turn missiles into something actually useful. Scrap. Uh, so we have 11 jumps. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Actually, I only have 10, and that actually does exactly work out. Okay. If we can get a defense drone from this door, it'd be really nice. Or cloaking, if that's the way we're going to go. Liquidated, yeah. All missiles must go. Okay. Actually. Oh, God. Oh, my God. God, this guy's offense. All right. Whew, all right. Jesus. This is, this is pretty oppressive fire for a, an asteroid field. Combat drone plus an ion. Thank God we dodged a second ion shot. Alright, now we really need that free repair from the NG quest. With this second quest location, if this is the correct one, then it means we're probably not getting the NG quest till next sector. So it'll depend on what this quest is. If this is the correct guy or the other one. Alright, three shield ships, sector three. Okay, well, guess I know what I should have upgraded. Good hits. Okay. Okay, good doges from him. He's still running. I need to hit some... I meant to hit that. Okay, demand information. Okay, yes, they passed through here. All right. So now we know that this is a ship fight that we can actually... Uh, kill and get scrapped from because they're going to say, Haha, you chased the wrong ship, but then you can finish them off. All right, well we got well we got two stores now. Well, if we get something in this store, we probably won't go to the other store then. Right, okay, there's the defense drone. All right. That is actually huge. If I want to get it. Again, our low drone parts become an issue here, but yes. Might as well make drone control not useless. So we could get the mine control right now if we wanted to. If I wanted to try a different build and do mind control instead of cloaking. Haha, -ha, joke's on you. Die. I feel like I do want to try mind control this time. We have gotten less crew than our previous run, I believe. So let's do this. And then I think our next upgrade is level 2 hacking. And that means we skip the store. One... Two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we can still get all of our jumps if we don't go to the store. Okay. All right, not bad. Not too shabby. Okay, empty jump is empty. One, two, three, four, five. Ah, oh, I shouldn't have repaired. Did I just repair at that store? Damn it. Well, maybe it'll be worth because we have... 
Wow, another insanely OP ship here. Single laser double fire. Amazing. Okay, get that offline. That's a, a six, yeah, six power weapon system. Three, four, five, six. Six power weapon system, man. Crazy. Single fire, laser double fire never gets old. I mean, it's always old. It's always terrible. I always hate it. Okay. Um this but i also need power but yeah let's go with that since we did see a three shield ship it was an, an event so it's not likely that we'll find more three shields this sector but we are going oh wait this is sector four not sector three why do i think this is sector three okay not as punishing as i thought still three shields in sector four still pretty terrible but okay all the missile ships though all of them I guess we're getting value out of our defense drone, although I'd rather not get value out of it and not have to hack or use a drone since I just... I'm always worried about drone part numbers on this ship. Still raise the salt level as the very first day you saw it? <laughs> well... I've gotten way madder at single laser double fires than that. So it does raise the salt level, but it's not the worst thing in the world. So we know that this is a guy who's going to say no wait after we uh, almost kill him. And then he'll start running. And then we kill him for scrap. Got so many single laser double fires helpful to you, to, helpful to you today. It's crazy. Yeah. All right. Well, there is another three shield ship. Missile. I gotta use double drone parts again. Okay, at least it didn't kill my drone, but my god. These weapon systems have been insane today. Like, actually insane. No, kill him. No, wait! No, wait! No. No waiting. I can't wait. You did damage to me, and I need your stuff, so. Sounds like we're in a therapy session. Tell me the last time a single double, single laser double fire hurt you. Tell me. It's, 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 it's happened even today. It's just an ongoing thing. It'll never end, and I'm so sad. I just, I thought he loved me. I thought FTL loved me, and he keeps doing this to me. My domestic abuse is committed by FTL and the and the uh, toxic relationship we continually stay in. All right, you have a missile, so we're going to defense drone, but I'm not going to hack. FTL says he loves me, and then he attacks me all the time. Ugh. I wasted a minute. I actually got his missile offline before it fires? Well, that was a wasted drone part, sadly. Damn. Okay. All right, ask about Mantis ships. Coordinate of, coordinates of Federation Command. Titanium system cas casing, lots of stuff and a free repair. And damn, I have no space for it. And it's not actually good augment, except for the fact that it sells for a lot. But I'm not selling all automated reloader or long range scanners for it. Show us on the ship model where the bad RNG touched you. It's right here. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> I don't want to. It's embarrassing. It's okay. We're all. You're in a safe place here, everybody. You're in a safe place. FTL can't hurt you here. 
I don't know. I just can't. I don't know. Show me the lacerations caused by the five mantis. <laughs> okay. It's a pretty scary ship. Gonna go for drone control offline because we get combat drone offline. We're safe. Perfect. But, you know, domestic violence is a real thing, so we probably shouldn't actually make jokes like this. But this is all in good fun. And also, since I was hearing horrible things from upstairs, it's kind of topical, honestly, too. We love you, Rand. We're all here for you. Thank you. Thank you. I need the emotional support from FTL's horrible, horrible treatment. Alright, 150 can scrap. I can get the third shield if I want to. Uh, let's see what's in the next sector first. Because there's like an early store with, I don't know, another flak. Ignore, we just got a bunch of free repairs. Rebel or NG? NG all day or day, man. All day or day. Okay. Um, means there's going to be stores here. I think I should get the third shield. I don't really want to spend the scrap on it, but uh, we are in sector five. There's a good chance there's ships with lots of projectiles. Watch them all have missiles now, just to force me to use my defense drones. Um, okay. It's got cloaking and pretty good weapon system. Must be a hero. The doges. Nice. No cloaking for you now. Just enough doges, man. Oh, wow. That was an instant repair on the cloaking. Holy crap, man. That was so stinking fast. Jesus. And he's running. Are you freaking kidding me? Nope. Okay, good. Only level one piloting there. Do this. But he might, like, insta-repair it. God, please do not keep me from getting a kill. Jesus Christ. I hate this game. He's running while cloaked. F U F T L. Absolute bullshit. Effing hate this game. Damn it, I jumped with my shit down. Ah, fucking stupid game. Alright, he's so only got two shields. I'm gonna hack his weapons because. because I don't actually have my weapons online right now, or my shields online. I just... Single single laser with double fire sucks, but you know what really sucks? Running while goddamn cloaked. That's just a dumb, a dumb mechanic. It's just a stupid mechanic. Kind of need fuel, but no. I'm mad. I'm mad, so I must kill you. I really need power right now is what I need. Three shields is a big investment in Sector 5, in your opinion? Eh, I don't think so. I think it's needed a lot of the times in Sector 5 with the ships you can run into. What's up, High Shadows? That is something a real ship would do to survive. It's very true. They're very true. Right, he might actually get a glade beam shot off here. Okay. Trying my darndest to make this glade beam not get to shoot. Nice. Another fuel deal. I'm just not taking him. I need scrap right now. We just live in freaking hazards right now, so I'm never gonna actually get to repair. 
At least he didn't cloak, cloak and run with my borders. Yes, at least he didn't cloak with my borders that I don't have. Cloak and run with the borders that I don't have on my ship. This is Captain Rand Brannigan and 100,500 of backseating advices. Uh, okay. All right. Um, okay. Two of the most OP weapons in the game. But we have two others of OP weapons, so... Nice. And he's got a combat drone to go with it. Are you serious? A combat two. Wow, an insta repair. I think he's got a repair drone over there going on. Trying to conserve drone parts and not hack. Okay. I've only gotten one free crew this run so far, and I did go through Pirate Sector. Okay. I have eight jumps. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, yeah, we can get all these. Check the store first. All right, we need fuel, if nothing else. Okay, there we go. There we go. That is what I'm talking about right there. Let's get rid of that crappy two-power weapon that only has two projectiles. Two power for two projectiles? What do you think this is? That's, that's, that's rookie numbers right there. Rookie numbers. Do I buy crew? I'd have to sell something now since I spent all that scrap. But I don't actually want to buy crew. Um, let's see. Five, six, seven. So one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's do that. There we go. Two of three flax, everybody. Two of three. This is guaranteed damage we take, but it's guaranteed scrap, I think. And we have something to sell at the store, so... How often do you have to use drones to complement the weaponry on this ship? Uh, early game, a lot. Early game, almost every fight. Later, if you get flax, I'm going to try to avoid doing it. So, one, two, three, four, five, six now. But that really, the answer to question, Whamabolo, is depends on the run. Well, how about some more free five hole damage? How about it? I think that's the third free hole damage event we've had this run. The one where you get um, free mantis, we got free hole damage. That one we just got free hole damage, and uh, one other one. Who doesn't like free hole damage? Me. I don't like it. Can I sign up for the non-free hole damage uh, choice, please? But it's free. You don't even have to pay for it. It's so free. First hole repair drone, but I can't afford it unless I sell a weapon or something, and I don't want to. I could sell an automated reloader, 87. I could. I don't want to. So I'm not going to. We're basically close to boss ready. Even though... This is not a lot of fire power, it's a lot of fire projectiles. So I can't sell drone parts though. That I cannot do. What a deal, you just have to pay for my whole damage, but you get it for free. <laughs> Are you a slug? You sound like a really experienced slug salesman. Ryan is, uh, Rand is dying without fights. That takes true skill. That's a good deal. To die without, hey, even fighting an enemy takes true skill. So I want to go to NG, however, there is an argument for going to Slug 6 because it means we have a choice of sectors for our final Sector 7, Sector Choice. Um, if we go to NG, it's a safer choice, however, there's a chance that we have Forced Abandoned right after that. And Abandoned Sector 7 is probably the single scariest sector in the game. 
Um, I still kind of just want to go to NG for free stuff and hope this is not abandoned. Gotta love yourself some abandoned Sector 7. Uh, I don't even have enough to get the level 202 or level 2 clone bay if I go here. Yeah, it's a little bit of a gamble either way. Do I want chance for free stuff or do I want... Do I have long range scanners? I do, right? Slug has a high chance of being very lucrative. But also requiring a lot more drone parts. To get through high, high amounts of shields, so... I'm gonna go NG. I'm gonna go NG. I almost always go NG if I have the choice. Ask this, does the free stuff outweigh the loss you would have from Sector 7 Abandoned? Uh, it just completely depends. Completely depends. There is a chance you get to Sector 7 Abandoned and don't see a Lanius Bomber. It's not a high chance, but there is a chance. God, I wish, I wish my enemies didn't have the most OP systems every single game. Every single fight. OP weapons, I mean to say. Pretty good dodges there, though. Okay, only the burst laser up means he can't actually do anything to us. But of course, he's got an NG repairing, so it repairs instantaneously. God. Ah, oh, thank God for that dodge. Okay. Nine out of ten Rans recommend NG, the choice of champions. I mean, I don't know that this is an NG thing, but we got a double reward that incre included a free weapon. Just, I love free stuff, man. I love it. It's my favorite type of stuff. It's free stuff. Now, what I want to try to incorporate this. It is two more, or one more shot than the dual lasers for two more power. It has the, you know, fire and breach chance. Pretty expensive to get online, though. What is it? It's going to be 165. I don't know if I'll use it. Slightly slower as well. We might end up using that. Pulsar. Yeah, we'll go Pulsar. Because I can hack his weapons. Yes, we will 100% be hacking his weapons. And we'll let that fire and then immediately hack it. Show you. Ugh, the doges on, or the uh, inaccuracy on the flat hurt us there. But now we're good. Beautiful. From being touched by lasers to addiction on free stuff, this stream covers all the angles. <laughs> I'm not addicted to free stuff. I could stop whenever I want. I just don't ever want to stop. Ran loves free stuff, but hates free hole damage. Yes. Because hole damage is the absence of stuff. Hole damage is the absence of your hole being undamaged. So, you know, there's a reason. A reason I prefer one over the other. Uh, I don't want to jump without my weapons ready. Oh, come on. Stupid balls are. But free is free. Yes. Yes, it is. Hey, you know what I got for free for you? A free kick in the crotch. They're free. You don't even have to pay for it. Who wants one? Raise your hand. Got a free crotch kick coming up for you. Crotch kicks, my specialty for giving for free. What am I jumping into? A fight. So I need to have my shields online. All right, finally. Finally didn't do level three pulsar onto my shields. Okay. Free crotch kicks. Get your free crotch kicks. You can tip me if you want, but it's free. My god, flax, missiles, burst laser twos. I swear that's the only weapons my my enemies have today. He's running, I gotta hack this. Oh, really freaking good doges. 
Really freaking good. Get two shot. There's a market for everything. <laughs> Are you into free crotch kicks, boo? Okay. <laughs> if somebody will sell it, somebody will buy it. I almost have enough for that if I want to go for the extra shot. Um, 10 seconds, 15. And one of the things I really do love about dual laser is it's so fast. That's an extra five seconds we got to wait for the one extra shot. I probably don't use the whole laser, or whole laser too. Probably don't. Probably have to buy more drone parts in this store. Okay. All right, I am debating whether I use hacking or not. Okay, we're going to use defense drone, but not hacking drone here. Kill your friend. Okay. The double flak. Not as vital. Because we have to hack the shields. Damn it. And punished. I played safe and I get I actually get that missile offline. I was thinking that would be a Hermes, and I think it was a breach with how slow it was. Or our weapons were just so slow, mate. I mean, our weapons are so fast, maybe we did fire twice before Hermes. I don't think it would. Double reward, free repair, not bad. You get free crotch, crotch kicks everywhere when I was young. <laughs> now they're so rare, you gotta search for days and days. Who's selling free crotch kicks? Right, boarding drone. Third, we could get three automated reloaders. No wonder our weapons are so fast. We could actually do that meme. Oh, man. I honestly feel it's overkill, and we do need um, still scrap, so long-range scanner still has value. Um, this is a pretty good weapon, honestly. If it's a halberd beam, I'd get it online. It's not a halberd beam. Do it! Anime Reloader. I can't. Long range scanner's too good. You know what I think I actually need to do here? I think I need to buy crew. Yeah. Let's buy let's buy a Zoltan. That gets us a silly device. If it gets a silly device, it's worth doing. Zoltan crew is pretty expensive, but it's power. And it frees up one of our crew slots. Damn, government crotch kick regulations really dampening the supply. <laughs> okay, let's buy one drone part and let's see what's at this other store. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Two, three, four, five, six. Okay, what do you got? Crap ions and a heal bomb. Okay. <sighs> Do I buy another crew? Buying a second Zoltan does give me, uh, you know, ion immunity and shields. But humans are cheaper. Could also get another uh, NG. Uh, it's expensive, but I'm going to actually do this. I think it's the best of my crew choices there. Again, I don't love buying crew, but sometimes you gotta do it if the game's not gonna give you any. Combat Zoltan, best Zoltan, man. Man, I love NG free stuff. Alright, let's go ahead and get, since we have all this extra power, let's go ahead and get uh, doors and dodge. And I should get level 3 hacking before the next sector. I don't think I need it yet. So I'm set with weapons, but I like another drone. A uh, horror pair would probably be the only drone I'd really be interested in. Okay. Kill your friends. So I'm gonna go all in on weapons to make sure this guy doesn't get the fire. Thank you. 
Nope. Not a generous enough offer. You gotta give me my third flak. You know what weapon we really want? Third flak to get as much of a flak, as close to a flakening as we can get on this ship. Double reward? Okay. Eh, that's repair. Eh, we've gotten, I think, three free repairs this run, actually. Kind of insane. So I guess they're balancing out the free hull damage with the free repairs. All right, I think I actually don't need to hack on this fight, so let's do this. A light on that. Okay, actually, we got there just in time. Good. No repair drone for you, sir. Nice job, Carl. Thanks for being on the job. Not letting Steve, lazy Steve, cover your shift. How about an overcharger drone? Too expensive. Three power. I'd rather just have force shield than have the over uh, overcharger drone. It's just not worth it. It's too expensive to get five drone power on something that hardly ever is very good. If you have force shield, it does the similar thing for... Is it cheaper? Seventy-five. It's only ninety-five, but it's three, so it's it's one extra power for similar effect. One extra power, less scrap for similar effect, I guess. I'm just not a big fan of overcharger drone or she. I guess I think you're talking about shield overcharger drone, right? Plus, it's drone parts. Yeah, and we already have hacking and defense, so yeah, that's probably the main thing. Actually, is the drone part uh, cost. We're swimming in drone parts. Might actually be worth doing. Explore. Okay. My control counter. Alright, I'm attempt to not use hacking here. That's a good dodge. Do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do. Why it's actually a free Zoltan shield against flagship. It's not free. It's your 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 problem is saying it's free. It's not free. It cost all those things I just said. Power, scrap to get online. Um drone parts. It's not free. You think you think you think Zoltan Shield one one random Zoltan Shield against the boss every once in a while is good? There are so many projectiles coming from the boss, it's the chance it bo uh, blocks that many missiles is minuscule. It's most likely, oh god, we did it. We committed to Sector 7 Abandon, all right. The chance that it's actually that good, like I said, Force Shield is just a better version of it. Force Shield will do the same thing. Most likely, uh, the, Zolt the uh, Overcharge Zoltan Shield that it gives you is gonna be knocked down by a random ion, beam, or laser before it blocks a missile. So I just don't find it valuable. It's three extra power that you have to invest in that. When if you just get four seal, it's going to do almost the same thing. Probably do better job than that, honestly. Okay, um, fifth dodge. Okay, we 100% need this. I guess we're doing fifth dodge since we can't get four shield. Yeah. You stay in place away with five Zoltan shield online. It doesn't work that way. It resets Ice Shadows. Unless you know something I don't know. God, first jump, Lanius Bomber. I am 90% sure that when you restart the fight, when you stay in place, you start without a full shield drone. I've, I've, never, I've never tried that before, but I'm pretty sure that would be OP if it worked the way you talked about. Sucks that you need to go to grocery shopping now before the store closes. Would love to witness Rand's exploration of this beautiful sector. Ah, oh, flak two, four shields. I don't have cloaking. Here's where not having cloaking does punish me. Scan the ship. Uh, cloaking, mind control, boarding, insane weapons. These are the most scary. These are the scariest ships in the game right here.
Cats could do just. I'm gonna accept your surrender. Get the hell off my ship, please. Ooh, Jesus, man. Scariest goddamn ships in the game, Lanius Bombers. Lanius Bombers, Lanius Bombers. On the upside, good music. There you go. Brave Sir Robin ran away. Bravely ran away, away. No, I didn't. I think I might actually need to get level 2 Clone Bay online to protect from. You know, to basically be value point. Value point there, maybe. They even look scary? Yeah, they do. Oh, man. We actually took no damage that fight, which is pretty amazing. Um, I better... I better clone you, right? Yeah, we gotta, we gotta play super safe here. They don't have O2, so more system slots for them. I should try O2 less runs, Rand. Oh, they do have no O2 system. I guess I never really thought about it. They're always, you know, vented, but I never thought about that actually equating to an extra system slot for Villanius. No wonder. Why did I never think about that? I guess if I had thought about it, I would have realized. Just never really took that into consideration. But yeah, teleporter, clone bay. I mean, teleporter, cloaking, mind control. I could try to beeline him for the exit, but I still want as much scrap as possible, so... Still gonna take the ship fights. Okay. Three shields. I'm gonna try to not hack you. Nice. Very nice. Good doges. All right, we got our doge training max. That's awesome. Not a bad uh, shield doge training ship here. Now, you can test yourself, Ice Shadows, but I'm pretty sure that uh, if you sit around at the base waiting for the boss to come back with your Zeltan shield up from an overcharger, it'll reset at the start of the fight. Pretty sure you don't get to have that head start. Pretty sure that's not a mechanic in FTL. That works that way. I should probably get level 202. Maybe that would help with Lanius Bombers, maybe? Okay, this is not as scary. Because it's not a flak 2. Still teleporting, though. Okay. I think I just have to let my sensors go. I didn't hit his cloaking, damn it. So I gotta wait for the next volley. So we take this one damage. God, that's level two at least cloaking. And he's running. Oh, God damn it. That stupid little message just delayed me firing my shots. I'm not taking it this time. Eat crap and die. Lanius Bomber, 66 scrap. Gimme, gimme, gimme that. Gimme that scrap. High risk, high reward kind of thing. Sector 7 abandoned. Let's get the level 02. I don't think it's going to help that much, but might be a little bit uh, useful. Only took one damage, and it was actually not from his weapons. It was from his uh, borders. Okay. Watch, because I said there, there's a chance that you can't get Lanius Bombers, I'm going to have, like, so many Lanius Bombers. Holy crap. He's got double missile weapons. Double bomb weapons with my crap hack there. That's really bad. Having Doge is hacked. Come on, man. How do you dodge that many fucking shots? Okay. That was some insane dodges. 
Okay. Both bombs offline. Perfect. Down to, uh, what, nine drone parts, I think that is? We still have the one lane using the mind control. Yes. Now, if I'd got cloak, gotten cloaking earlier, Lanius sector is probably even scarier. Although we could have cloaked like the flak volley and stuff, but I mean, each system has its kind of pros and cons. All right, ASB is actually good in this sector because it means that is a friendly ASB. One of the only two, I think, ways to have a friendly ASB is when it's an abandoned. It says planet side anti ship batteries. That means that's actually helping you. Do abandoned scraps? Do abandoned sectors give a lot of scrap for the danger? They have the potential, yes. That's actually a really good trade, but I don't really care about that weapon. Okay. Jesus. Why? Why you gotta do this to me? Okay. Because we're, because we're Lanius. This is what we do. It's true. You are Lanius. Oh, I actually don't. He's only got two shields here. Uh, I need to wait. Nice. Okay. Alright. Um, I guess I'm waiting for my Lanius to come up to go repair this. Speak of the devil, Lanius bummer. I think the anti-ship battery is always a bummer when you fight it. It's always a Lanius ship. I bet you this event past a certain sector is always a Lanius bummer. I don't I I'm not 100 percent sure on that though. That's three three Lanius bombers so far in this sector. I'm going to guess the anti-ship battery is, after like Sector 4, a higher chance to be a Lanius Bomber would be my guess. But I don't know. If there's anybody in chat who knows, let us know. I don't I don't know the FTL science quite on that. Okay. Empty jumps can be um, that event that Kenny likes where you can get a second Lanius, the translator event. Yeah, when Kenny used to hang out all the time, he'd always tell us to go abandon and go to empty jumps. Because he would say something, the cheap pre-igniter, but I'm pretty sure that's actually, you can't get pre-igniter from the build a, build a, an augment event. Every time you fought it was Lanius. Well, I think it's always Lanius, but I don't know if it's always Lanius bombers is what I'm not sure about. That's my question mark. Is if 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 that event is always bombers after after like sector two or whatever sector it is that is the first one that you can get uh, bombers to appear in. Nope, no deal. Abandoned empty jumps are worth. Yeah, well we're gonna get at least one or two. That's what you meant. It was bomber. Oh, okay. Every time you fought it, it was Elenia's bomber. Is what you meant. Okay, gotcha. Okay. Well, let's not spend all of our scrap on force shields when empty jump can be, you know, something like translator. They could also just be empty. That's why I actually don't care for going for the empty jumps because the empty jumps could be actual empty jumps. It's, you know, not my favorite. So shield bypass, stealth weapons. Boarding, anti-drone, combat. Automated Reloader makes Burst Laser 3 less crap, but it's still crap in my opinion. This is Sector 7, right? Yeah, so I don't need any extra fuel. Um, If this was an anti-personnel, I would have considered buying it. But it's not. Let's go ahead and get Force Shield. Yeah, pretty garbage store, honestly. No good weapons. 
But we did it did let us sell our burst laser three. Hey, there we go, Lanius crew. <laughs> Free system repair from that event. What? Okay. I hardly ever do that event, so I'm not familiar with that event, really. 32. Level 302 is what? That is cheaper, but do I care about level 302? I don't really want to spend my scrap on that, so. Pulsar, that's 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 a dive. That's a chance to just die, so no thanks. You got a notification from my YouTube video from two years ago about two spam comments about hacking Instagram accounts. Okay, I don't know what that means. Um, told you, Lanius, look out for each other. <laughs> got a notification from my YouTube videos from two years ago about two spam comments about hacking Instagram accounts. What does that mean? YouTube told you to stop hacking Instagram accounts or what? I don't I don't understand what that means. I did see that last or this morning when I went to check all my YouTube comments, there were like eight spam comments from those like spam bots or whatever. Which is annoying as hell and there's nothing I can do about that. I just have to delete them. But I wonder if it has to do with that. This old YouTube comment got a spam reply just now. Oh, some spam bot replied to one of your comments? Is that what it is? Eric Cohen. I don't know if anyone cares, but last night I hacked my friend's Instagram password by using Instapone. Can't link here, so search it for on Google if you want to try it yourself. Okay, so some bot trying to get information or something like that. And in response, Eric Cohen, wow, took about 20 minutes, but it worked, okay. So somebody replying to your comments to try to do some sort of spam stuff. There is so much spam on YouTube, so many spam bots. I Almost every day that I check my YouTube, I have to clear out one or two bots. Looks like I don't get any repair, which kind of sucks for drone parts. We should have just enough, especially if you find a store. Let's try to beeline it to one store, maybe. Both accounts are weak old, yeah. Yeah, that's that's just, that's happening on... Happens, there are spam bots on Twitch, but they're even more rampant on YouTube. I'm trying to conserve drone parts a bit here. Ugh, freaking kidding me, game. I didn't even power that. Get through there. Oh, we actually do get through, and it starts a fire. That's perfect. Okay, great. Stop you from repairing. His Vulcan is online. Can we get that offline? Yes. Wow! I just realized this guy's got a... 8 power up in system. He's got a bit of a Vulcan meme. Ch chain Ion plus Vulcan. Holy crap, just realized... FTL playing underhanded. Bombing my weapons. Oh, well, he still, still took no damage. Whoa, free Ion Blast Mark II. Interesting. Do I want that over dual laser still? No, I've, I've been given two free three power weapons this run. And neither have been weapons I've wanted. Wow, I just don't think we get the repair station. Wow, these, these couldn't be in worse locations pretty much. Unless they were up here. If you were going to search it, you were going to search it, but said it wasn't worth hacking Instagram if it took 20 minutes, Kappa. <laughs> okay. okay, this guy really loves this weapon system. I gotta hack this one. This is two ships in a row that have had chain, burst laser, plus Vulcan. Okay. Beautiful. Wouldn't it be like nine power? 
Um, well, if it was a small bomb, it was one power. And I think it was a small bomb, which made it eight power. Whew, that was over 100 scrap gain. Because chain laser one, uh, chain laser two, Vulcan four, which is six, heavy seven, small bomb eight. So I believe it was exactly eight power on that previous one. That feel when you're only jump one in sector one on hard mode is a shop. Yeah, that's never never fun. Okay, so value weapons, value, value, power, power. Gets us all our stuff that we need. Okay, and there it is. That's kind of what I was expecting them to take over the repair. That was a jump or two away. Uh, we do have 10 drone parts, and I'm purposefully not using as many drone parts for these fights. Nice. Try, trying to conserve for the boss, because we know we need at least six. Because it's two per, two per phase for three phases. Two times three equals six. I do know that, do know that ba basic math. Math, math on stream is always a is always a chance, but I think I'm right on that one. Looking anti personnel, just steal it from that guy. <laughs> Hoping for a store up here, no store. All right, um, we have everything we need. Small chance we could get a store up there, but if I go there, it kind of delays us getting the base. I guess I will take one more fight. Dual layers making it to the end of the run. I think it's the first time we've kept him for the entire run. Okay. I'm actually going to use two drone parts against this fight. Because it's a missile on a crazy... Uh, crazy good laser. You got some doges. Pretty good doges. Nice. Missile offline, so we can do this. Okay, good fight. All right, so no store. All right, so we can get extra stuff, though. Is there any system that we could upgrade that would make us a little bit stronger? We could go like level three mind control to maybe get more crew kills in phase one and two. Level three mind control and backup battery. Put that power there. This would be that. And then we could do like level three doors since our anti-boarding is not amazing. Engines, I never go above five engines because you get diminishing returns. I find value points and other things more useful. System repair drone. Well, I already have space for it. Uh, we already have the third slot, so I can use it if I need to. Yay for Max Doors! There you go, silly device. Happy birthday, Max Doors to you. Yeah. Um, some people do go above five power and engines. If you look at it, you see the dodge upgrade is 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. But once you get above 25, it's 3, then 3, then 4. So each one of those is less value than the previous ones, and it's expensive. So I almost always, unless I just have nothing else to spend scrap on, scrap on will never go above 5 power and engines. Just because of diminishing returns. Value for piloting, yeah, level 3 piloting wouldn't be bad either. Gotta keep an eye out if he gets weapon hacking through. Okay, he's doing well so far. God damn it. My weapons are fast enough, I might still be able to do this. Let me see if I have a. We have a space to jump if we need to. Worst tack in the game. Weapon sack against the boss fight, phase one. Okay, kill my defense drone. We're leaving. Screw that fight. If reactor wasn't capped at power, you'd upgrade engines more, to be honest. Yeah, that's that's a good point, too. Jesus, double missiles. Okay. Oh, my 
god, I gotta use two drone parts to put me down to five, which is not enough for all three phases. We're gonna assume we'll get at least one drone part from the boss. Triple goddamn missile weapons, by the way. So freaking stupid. This doesn't have cloaking, I guess. Okay, got the small bomb offline. Good. Oh, thank God for the dodge. Whew, who shots could have hit that? Okay. All right, no damage there. Can I get a drone part? We did get a drone part. All right, we got even more scrap. We see we're running out of missiles fast. Not before the fight ends. Not before the fight ends. So he had no downside to having three missile weapons. Zero downside. Except the fact that we had defense drone to defend against it. <sighs> All right. One power and piloting. I think that probably is good. This will be for system repair if I want to use it. I'm not going to use it now because I'm a little worried about my drone part numbers here. That one dodge was clutch. Yeah, it saved us three or four damage. I don't think it was a breach missile. So I think it saved us three damage. So what you all just saw with the... Um, our defense drone letting through the weapons hack is the downside to actually using defense drone at the beginning of the fight. Weapons placement means it's likely that if they hack it, that's one of the few that the defense drone would fail at stopping. So this is always one of the things that I'm just never sure what the right choice is. Should I have a defense drone up when they're uh, to try to shoot down their hacking or do I just let it through? I still don't know. I still don't know what is the correct choice. So we don't use defense drone. We're banking on the first tack to not go to our weapons. But if we do use defense drone, it's likely to, that the one it fails to shoot down is to go to our weapons. So which is bad, bad, better? The odds are the same. I honestly don't know. I feel like maybe it's better to let it through because... If it's, if it's consistently going to shoot down anything but the weapons when you have defense drawn up, it's probably better to just let it through. I think I'm going to just let it through this time and pray to RNGs it doesn't get my weapons again. Thank God. There we go. That's what I needed to see right there. That kill him, it did not, so we're gonna do level three mind control on him. We have to wait. I actually probably could have gotten a second shot there because of how fast our weapons are, but I'm still gonna be patient here. Ugh, almost a almost a Carl there. Okay. Keep firing here because I think I get crew kills. Beautiful. Wow, okay. Our drone did not do the greatest job that fight, but we didn't have a weapon hack. We took five, dan well, I think we took three or something because we had taken one or two on the previous attempt. The worst of all hack. No, my door, silly device says. <laughs> you don't know if this is winnable with doors hacked. Oh, God. Oh, God, can we really do it? Um, do I go for the repair? Waste drone parts, so if it goes away, it's two dives to get a repair. I don't think that's worth. Let me get the clone bay as maxed. There. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and get this guy online. Boarding drone goes in there, he'll tank it, so it'll be a bit of a waste of a drone part. Boarding drone I have to ignore and really hope he doesn't go to important system because if he does, I might have to move this guy to deal with him. The difference a cloak makes? Yeah. Well, that's the um, 
That's the downside for taking mind control over cloaking. The first two phases are tougher. I think the third phase is going to be better because we chose mind control. Bum, 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 bum. What the hell? Why did, did that not power that all the way? Well, that was a misplay. I, I must have, my second click must have not gone through or something. Ooh, we got another crew kill. All right, pretty good phase two. We got at least one more crew kill. And uh, we're still in the green. What was that watermark? Uh, it's an IRE symbol that comes up right here. Right here. I actually think maybe I should have it come up and stay up longer. But it's um, it's IRE Legacy, the... Uh, um, Esports organization that I was invited to join that I'm a part of that there's a command for in the chat now That is their symbol. Okay, so Dealing with borders We have the mind control counter But we don't have really good crew to deal with borders so they board my piloting. It's pretty bad, but we did get a lot of crew kills so believe There's only three dudes alive, so they should board with two, right? Looks like you're right. They're not boarding. Beautiful. They bugged out for whatever reason. Gotta love it. Gotta love when that happens. Good dodges. Okay. Oh my god, did I just... I just misclicked. Okay. I did not mean to do that. Thank god. Um... Thank God that flax are so good at getting through shields. I completely misclicked the hack. Now if they board, they're really not boarding. I was so worried about boarding, I hacked... I hacked the uh, boarding when they didn't board me. That was definitely a misplay. I did not do that on purpose. Crap. But it should be fine. We're fine. We're fine. Weapons are so good. One more volley. Can they board through their own Zoltan shield? <laughs> sometimes they just bug out. I don't know what causes that. They can board through their own Zoltan shield, but uh, sometimes they will just bug out, and I don't know what the reason is. He dodged my hack. <laughs> He's like, come for shields, come for shields. Ha <laughs> you hit my teleporter. Well played, sir. Well played. GG, cookie time. That is four in a row with the NGC. That could have killed me? Are you talking about the bad hack? Possibly, but if we didn't get through the shields, I could have run away. That's why, you f that's why you follow the boss. You can always run away if you follow him for the phase third phase. So it wasn't the end of the world. Thankfully, Flax are just so good. Alright, 57-31. Not a bad score. Uh, our, our second highest on this one, so on the ship so far. 44 ships, feed 103 beacons explored, 1911 scrap collected, and 6 crew hired. Double flak one is the best. You know, it's the, really the best. It's four flak ones. Sadly, this ship can't get that many. Fan flak fantastic. You're all right, sarcastic eel. What's up, my friend? So that is four in a row for the NGC. Three more for the perfect streak. We're already a better streak than. Uh, Lanius B with pause, our uh, RNG for that one. Hacking really carries the ship, it does. The only downside to starting with hacking and drone control was the fact that you have to manage your drone parts and not run out. And that's really the challenge. And part of the reasons, like I, part of, one, part of the reason I chose to keep dual lasers over heavy laser one last run and some other choices I've made, so. Your thought was something where it's just score plus a constant time bonus per minute. Uh, are we talking about... What are you talking about, Math Champ? So it's not a speed run. Not the player. Are you talking about the scoring for... 
Oh, there's some discussion on changing the score formulas for the tournament. Okay, I, I missed that message. It must be over on Irie's thing. Then the player goes over the benchmark time. Okay, I'm uh, I'm not going to read that right now. It's so complicated. I'm going to let that discussion happen on the forums, and I'll try to follow it there on this on Discord. It's such a complicated thing to figure out scoring that I've talked about it enough on stream. I'll let you all kind of talk the math over on, on, on the Discord and see if we can come up with something good. And besides, I have I have a planned discussion with Kiss Alien this Saturday to talk about it anyway. So anyway, my friends, I am going to stand up, stretch, use restroom, take my second break of the day. Thank you all so much for the uh, for watching. I hope you're having a good time. If there's anybody new, hit the follow. Quick six second word of the ads. We'll come back. We'll try to get fifth win in a row with the uh, NGC. Y'all rock. Stay in a bit, my friends. <laughs>